Hello everyone, myself Vaibhav. In today's session of Visual J Forex, I will be demonstrating to you the use of indicator name midpoint. From our school days, we have been familiarized with the concept of the midpoint. In school, we used to take the two points, join them, and then used to take the midpoint of that uh, line. The concept is same, but the application is a lot different in the trading. Here, over a given period of time, we take into consideration the price action, its a high and lows, and uh, then we arrive at the midpoint for the given period of time. So we will see this uh, indicator's utility, and uh, I will also demonstrate how we can design the trading uh, status using this indicator. It is included under the other section of all these indicator blocks, and uh, here it is the midpoint over a period of time so now we head to the visual j forex board developed by the ducoscopy bank sa here it is included all you have to do is click on the other indicators and you get this uh, just below the lager hts1 which we had seen in the prior session now in today's session it's turn of the Match point to initialize the system we have to use a start point any of the three will do the job now for today's setup i am uh, simply relying on the on candle coming to its uh, parameters this is the indicator block where we have to customize these uh, four indicators uh, input values and then we will get this uh, output value and uh, the output value is of course influenced by how we customize these uh, four input parameter first thing first we need to define the instrument of our choice if we want to trade on the euro usd then we don't really have to change anything but if we want to develop the algorithm for any other instrument then I, uh, then all that needs to be done is to choose uh, that particular instrument from here all the list is given and uh, Whichever instrument you want to work with, you can uh, take provided it is supported on this platform. So here we today's session we take the NZD USD. Nothing particular, just uh, to demonstrate that any indicate uh, any instrument can be used. Coming to the period for the candlestick, candlestick uh, period is uh, of critical importance we have to see which uh, time frame we are trading on and if we want to trade on the shorter time horizon then the lower time period like uh, 5 minutes 10 minutes or for example 15 minutes will do the job if you want to trade from the medium term perspective then i think uh, hourly to 4 hourly is uh, just fine and uh, you can even work with the larger time frames like uh, daily weekly if you want to trade from the swing, swing trading perspective so depending on your need you have to customize these uh, parameters and uh, here we get to this uh, time period now has been uh, chosen as 20 generally the default value is 14 if you want to change it we can change it and now this is the default setup for the midpoint formula the chart is still of your USD, which we will change it to NZD USD. And uh, this plotting, this line, which you can see, is uh, the line formed by the joining of the midpoint for each uh, hourly candlestick for last uh, 14 candles. And uh, as I said, we can customize this indicator. But uh, first, if you want to trade with this indicator, it is uh, simple. Whenever the price is uh, above the midpoint, it is considered as the bullish. And uh, if the price is trading below the midpoint, it is considered bearish. But as you can see, that's not always the case. And that's why it is important to see that uh, we need to adapt the trading setup as per uh, the market conditions. Sometimes when the price moves are rather choppy, there won't be any significant trend present in the market and during such times uh, the market uh, might uh, force the underlying instrument to just keep shifting from one side of the midpoint to other and there won't be many big moves on either side 
and in such instances we can uh, lose a lot of money in case we simply rely on the midpoint and we keep shorting if the price drops below and if we keep buying if the price rises above there is a midpoint but ultimately it goes nowhere and uh, we end up losing from the both sides so we want to avoid such scenarios also and i think uh, for that we might even need to take uh, other indicators also in the setup or you can try out the combinations which are possible with the midpoint indicator itself you can customize this suppose if you want to work with uh, for example say 30 the midpoint for last uh, 30 candlesticks of 1 hour each now this is the midpoint and as you can see as uh, we increase the time horizon for the calculation of the midpoint you will see that uh, these uh, changes and these uh, price uh, moves get a uh, lot more consistent and we have good enough idea of course uh, no setup is perfect so here also some false false signals will always be there and uh, we have to see how we can uh, minimize our losses in case the trade doesn't really go our way because not every trade is going to go our way and we need to be prepared for such eventuality and that's why it is important to be mindful of the shortcomings of this uh, indicator and uh, one other uh, possibility of working with this indicator is that you can simply even adapt uh, the approach where you go for the buy trade whenever you see the price rising from below the midpoint to close above it and vice versa whenever the price uh, drops below the midpoint after having been in uh, the bullish territory for quite a while in both instances sometimes you might pro right sometimes it might go wrong so as i said we have to be mindful of these limitations also but uh, conceptually speaking there are multiple possibilities and uh, you have to figure out the optimum setup utilizing the trial and error method and then i think uh, you will uh, pretty much touch upon such an uh, possibility such an uh, setup where the probability of uh, being in profit would be a lot higher now coming to this uh, indicator block we have to customize this if you want to change it to say for example one hour we can do that we can take any input value from 10 seconds onwards to monthly all the way for today's session we are simply going to change it to one hour hourly shift is the look back period if you want to take into consideration the current value for the midpoint then the shift should be left at zero if you want to access the access and retrieve the prior output value then in such instance you have to use this look back period and you have to customize it if you write simply two then uh, two candlesticks of one hour e each the data at that point in time will be retrieved and we will have that uh, reflected in this uh, output value time period as i said are the number of candles which will be taken into consideration for calculation if uh, the each candle is of uh, one hour time frame then taking the 14 candlesticks of one hour each means that we are looking at the midpoint of last 14 hours so here we have to see it in con in combination with this uh, time period of the candle and uh, we can change this as i said and as i have already demonstrated if you want to reduce it we can do the do that as well so here i change it to 20 then coming to the applied price applied price is uh, also very critical we have it included in the settings part the bit side and the ask side also always carry slight difference because of the spread and then comes the applied price whether you want the closing price open price high price low price or other variant of the applied price you are free to do so the difference is that since we are looking at the median value that simply means if we take the close as the applied price then we will be looking at the highest and the lowest value of the closing 
of each candlestick over a given period of time if we say for example take low then that means the uh, highest and the lowest value found by la last 20 candles uh, low point will be taken into consideration to calculate the midpoint and if you want to use the open price then as i said also the all we have to do is change the applied price and keep the formula the same and you will have the midpoint for the open price so that's how the system works and uh, as i said the system is not going to be perfect it's never or almost uh, not never but it's almost uh, very difficult to do that and that is why it's uh, it's like a trial and error we where you keep working till it works and uh, keep trying out various uh, combinations in the uh, hope in the hope of finding the ultimate uh, setup so that's it from my side for today's uh, webinar if any of you have any query or any idea to share you can write it in the comment section and i would be more than happy to take the discussion forward thank you all for joining in don't forget to subscribe to our channel keep watching see you tomorrow goodbye